When you think of Audrey Hepburn, what comes to mind? Pretty actress, good singer, perfect eyebrows? Well, what some people may not know is that she was also a humanitarian in 1988. Audrey became a special goodwill ambassador to the United Nations UNICEF Fund, helping children in Latin America and Africa, a position she retained until 1993 when she passed away. Audrey Hepburn was born May 4, 1929, and died on January 20, 1993, at age 63, from appendicular cancer. In her life, she was named to People's Magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful women in the world. She also won several awards, including a Golden Globe, a British Academy Film Award, and an Academy Award for Best Actress in the movie Roman Holiday. She spoke several languages, including English, French, Dutch, Italian, Spanish, and German. Audrey had a strong-willed mind and believed that all people deserved respect, kindness, and somebody to be there for them. Hepburn once said, For beautiful eyes, look for the good in others. For beautiful lips, speak only words of kindness. And for poise, walk with the knowledge that you are never alone. UNICEF appointed Audrey Hepburn to Goodwill Ambassador in the fall of 1987. She had a brilliant film career, but embarked on her second career as a humanitarian. She said the decision to get involved with UNICEF was an easy one. As a child in the... Netherlands after World War II, the early incarnation of UNICEF came to her aid with food, medicine, and clothing. In the years that followed her appointment, she made numerous field trips. Audrey also worked tirelessly for UNICEF when not making field trips. She testified before the U.S. Congress, took part in the World Summit for Children, launched UNICEF's State of the World's Children Reports, hosted Danny Kay International Children's Award Ceremonies, designed fundraising cards, and participated in, in a benefit concert tours and gave many speeches and interviews promoting UNICEF's work. Soon after being appointed Goodwill Ambassador, Audrey Hepburn made her first field trip to the poorest country in the world, Ethiopia. The trip was designed to bring the world's attention to the severe conditions there, and Audrey received more media coverage than any UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador to date. Audrey traveled to numerous health centers and food distribution centers. She went to a health center where she talked to children and mothers. She visited refugee camps, work camps, and an orphanage run by Father Chase of Italy. Lastly, she visited a work for food program. Audrey finished her trip with a press conference where she discussed what she'd seen in the impressive nature of Ethiopian people. I can testify to what UNICEF means to children because I was among those who received food and medical relief right after World War II. I have a long-lasting gratitude and trust for what UNICEF does. Hepburn received the United States Highest Civilian Award, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, in December 1992. During that year, though ill with cancer, she had continued her work for UNICEF, traveling to Somalia, Kenya, the United Kingdom, Switzerland, France, and the United States. She passed away in 1993. Audrey had it right when she said, the best thing to hold on to in life is each other. We thought Audrey Hepburn would be an interesting person to learn more about and promote who she really was as a person, because not many people know her as a humanitarian or that she worked with UNICEF. Most people only know her as an actress. Little do most people know, she was a kind-hearted, loving, and caring individual.